Back on the Sports Zone, I am Mike Aglialoro. Once again, thanks to everyone who subscribed to the YouTube channel, Mike Ags 121 Don't forget to subscribe under the video if you haven't done so. And also check out ThisIsSportsZone.com for more. So we're back with week five of Stardom Up here on the Sports Zone. Last week, not a great week. We went three and seven. We did manage to win in our 14-team league, which means I am now three and one in there. And all things considered, I think I have my best roster that I have ever had in this 14-team league. And, of course, this is the one that we focused on before the season started. Had a pretty good week in FanDuel.com as well. So let's continue to week five. And we'll start with the quarterbacks this week. I'm big on the matchups that Eli Manning and Blake Bortles both have. I like Eli at home against the Falcons. We saw how bad the Falcons can look on the road given what they did last week against Teddy Bridgewater and the Vikings. As far as Blake Bortles goes, he had a decent first week, and now he has a goal matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers, who, of course, dropped a very tight game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last week, one they arguably should have won. Now, they probably still will beat the Jaguars, but at home, you know Bortles is going to be able to put up some points against that weak Steelers defense this week. Ditto with Eli Manning, who I look to have a very similar game to the one he had against the Redskins. Maybe not four touchdowns work, but at the very least, I look for a 20-point fantasy game out of Eli. Moving on to the running backs, I like Darren Sproles this week against the Rams, and I like Lorenzo Talaferro of the Ravens going against the Indianapolis Colts. Talia Farrow has had a very good past couple weeks. He's had about 150 rushing yards. He has had two touchdowns over the last two weeks. And as far as Sproles goes, he showed last week that even in a week where the Eagles' offense isn't producing, he's still a threat to score on special teams. So I like both of them as cheap alternatives if you want to load up on the big-name wide receivers or the big-name quarterbacks. You go with Sproles and Talia Farrow. At wide receiver, Kelvin Benjamin is becoming a must-start wide receiver week in and week out. And against the weak Bears defense that has struggled to recover since the loss of Charles Tillman, I think you're looking at his biggest fantasy output yet. Could top 100 yards and could wind up getting two touchdowns in a game for the first time in his career. I like Victor Cruz as Eli Manning's top target going forward. As much as Larry Donald, the tight end, has taken a lot of touchdowns from him, he did have his first 100-yard game of the season last week, and I look for that only to continue against the Falcons' defense. And finally, at wide receiver, I like Terrence Williams of my Dallas Cowboys. Boys, we saw against the Saints last week that that offense is finally starting to get back on track. And at home against the Houston Texans, I look for Terrence Williams to at least get one more touchdown. He does have four on the season, and he could also crack 100 yards for the first time in his career, depending on how heavily the Texans wind up shadowing Des Bryant. We've seen over the last four weeks that when the opponents tried to double-team Des Bryant, Romo's been taking advantage of that and finding Williams open in the flat. I look for that to continue this week. At tight end, going back to the Steelers-Jaguars game, I like Heath Miller of the Steelers at tight end. We saw last week at his biggest game of his career, caught a couple touchdown passes, had 10 receptions last week. And against the weak Jaguars defense, I look for at least 70 yards and one touchdown. My special performances this week, I'm going with Kerry Robinson once again, of the New Orleans Saints, and I'm going with Reuben Randall of the New York Giants against the Atlanta Falcons. It's Kerry Robinson, I put him in the special performance category two weeks ago. He still hasn't had that big bust-out game thus far. I really think he's going to have that this week at home against the Buccaneers. The Saints offense, let's be honest, they are different at home as opposed to on the road, as much as it hasn't shown this year. That offense is going to go off at some point this season. I love the matchup this week against the Bucs, and I look for Kerry Robinson to be heavily used in the fourth quarter of what could possibly be a blowout game. As for Ruben Randall, I've been high on him for the last year, and even though Odell Beckham Jr. could be making his first appearance of the season, it definitely looks like Randall's made his impression on Eli Manning and the rest of the Giants' offensive coaches. He's had over 70 yards twice this season, has been heavily targeted thus far, and this week against the weak Falcons defense, I look for him to eclipse the 100-yard mark for the first time this season. So once again, at quarterback, you start Eli Manning and Blake Bortles. At running back, you start Darren Sproles and Lorenzo Talaferro. At wide receiver, you go with Kelvin Benjamin, Victor Cruz, and Terrence Williams. 
tight end, you start Heath Miller of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And the special performances this week, Kerry Robinson of the New Orleans Saints and a wide receiver, Ruben Randall of the New York Giants. Once again, thanks to everyone who subscribed to the YouTube channel, Mike Ags 121 Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at We Are Sports Zone. Send us any questions and comments you may have. Thanks to everyone for watching. For This Is Sports Zone, I am Mike Aglialoro. We will see you next time, folks.